Hi guys, I'm back with another video. Um, as you can tell, I got a special guest today, and this video is going to be all about him. So, this is our new dog, Max. He is a pug like Lola, except instead of being all black like Lola, he is the fawn with the black, you know, like accents. And, um, like the more traditional color. Before we got Lola, I had never seen a black pug, like in real life. And then, uh, we saw him on Craigslist and he needed a new home. So we decided to give him a new home. We miss Lola so much that, um, not a replacement. I mean, you can never replace her, but, you know, we just, our lives were missing that. And, uh. He's giving my neck and tickling me. So, this is Max. Max Wynn. And, of course, he has many a nickname because, you know, they always do. Um, I call him Sandwich because he's a little bigger than Lola. And kind of a chunk. He's heavier. He's a little bigger. He loves to eat. So, I call him Sandwich. And, um, so he's a big cuddle bug. He loves to be touched and like touching you <clears throat> he doesn't really lay by himself if he's laying down he has to be near you aka touching you laying on you um unlike lola i don't want it to be a comparison video but i mean naturally it's gonna be um he loves just about everything he's sniffing stuff on the table um he loves just about everything he eats beans and tortillas and sopapillas and eggs and potatoes and hamburgers. And the only thing so far that I found that he doesn't like is cucumbers. And which I thought was funny because he likes to eat like blueberries. He likes strawberries. Um, he just was not a fan of the blueberry or I'm sorry, the cucumbers. Um, whipped cream, of course ice cream. He likes just about everything. And, uh, he's not very picky. He, he's a little bit of a punk sometimes because he, sometimes he won't eat with me. But if Mark's eating the exact same thing, he'll eat it with him. I don't know. Dogs. Lolo is kind of the same way. And, you know, I think it's just like a bonding thing with them. He usually eats from me. I mean, it's not like he won't take food from me. Of course he will. But, there have been times where he's just like, eh, I don't want it. But then he'll go right to Mark and eat it with Mark. So, I don't know. <laughs> um, let's see. When we got him, so he's 18 months old, is what we were told. And um, the guy's ad said he was crate trained, he's house trained, like all this stuff. And he wasn't really... Um, I do like that he's not afraid of the crate. The crate's not a punishment, but we actually don't use it. We're probably going to get rid of it or something. I mean, we don't use it. We don't use it for punishment, nothing. And when we, I first, when we first got him, like the next day, I brought it in the house and I opened it. And he went in just like, oh yeah, cool, my crate. Um, so that's good to know, but we don't crate our animals. We just don't. And, um... Let's see, what else? He is, he's not a barker like Lola. Lola used to love at barking at everything and everyone and other animals. And there's a dog barking outside, even distantly. She could hear it, she'd bark. We have a neighbor that he leaves his dog out all the time, so he barks all the time. And Lola used to drive us crazy with the barking because... It was just like overkill. The barking all the time. He hardly ever barks. Um, he's on my lap. You can hardly see him. <laughs> um, he barks very seldom. Um, he'll bark at like sirens. He doesn't like sirens. Doorbells on TV. And that's about it. He doesn't bark it much. Um, sometimes he'll bark to let me know he needs to go outside. But he usually looks right at me and barks. And that's how we know he needs to go outside. Um, he's getting better at the going potty in the house. When we first got him, he didn't care at all. He would totally just, like, go potty. So, you know, he wasn't house trained, like I said. And I think they just put him outside, which isn't the case with us. I mean, just like Lola, he's our baby. And 
we do not do that to our animals. And, um, yeah, he's getting better. He loves bass. Lola, it was very much a fight, and it was abuse to her. She was, like, very, like, oh, oh, stay away from me. You're abusing me. Um, him, he actually will sneak into the bath with us because we don't, we have, like, a walk-in bath. So he will totally, like, sneak in. There have been, um, I think twice now where I'm taking a shower, and all of a sudden I feel like, you know, pup on my leg. Or, like, against my leg. It's because he snuck in. So, the only problem with that is being winter, well, even summer, I don't want him wet all the time because dogs get sick. They, um, they're not, like, easily sick, but, I mean, who wants their dog sick? So, that's happened once. Um, we didn't realize how cold he got because he normally runs pretty hot-blooded. He's like me. His ears are always hot. His nose is pretty warm. Paws are hot. Like, he doesn't really get cold very much. But when you give him a bath, he does. Which, of course, I mean, you know, who doesn't get cold when they take a shower? But, so, oh, so bring me to blow drying. Lola was deathly afraid of the blow dryer. She, there was no way we were doing that. And he totally lets me, as long as he gets to sit on my lap, he don't care. He's happy as a clam. And he lets me blow dry him, like, completely. And that's good, you know, especially if we got to leave the house after he takes a bath. Or, like I said, he sneaks in. Um, so yeah, that's good. He sheds more than Lola, but I don't think it's that bad. And that's him. There must be somebody at the door because he doesn't bark very much. <laughs> okay. Okay. I put him down to go run. He wanted to see what was at the door. So anyways, um... Yeah, that's that's him. He's he's becoming part of the family pretty well. He's back here running around. <laughs> um, yeah, he's a, he's a pretty good dog. He needs a little training, but other than that, he's pretty good, and uh, we really enjoy having him around. And just like Lola, he's he loves everybody. He's very friendly. You know, there's no doubt that he'll ever bite anyone. <clears throat> and he loves to play. And uh, yeah, he's like Lola. Loves to take a nap loves to take a nap and um that's one thing i like about pugs that they are they're ready to go if you're gonna go but if you just want to like hang out on the couch watch tv they are more than happy to lay next to you and take seven naps and be happy well that's all i have for you guys for today and um i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys